Nawaz Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's parties in Pakistan have reached a deal to form a government after last week's disputed election. Mr. Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party said it would help Mr. Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League elect a prime minister. The two parties were previously in a coalition that ousted Imran Khan from power in 2022. He is now in jail. This time independent candidates backed by his Pakistan Tariq e Saf, PTI, unexpectedly won the most seats. PPP leader Asif Ali Zardari told a press conference that although his party and the PMLN had contested elections against each other, they had come together in the interests of the nation. It is not necessary that, we fight, forever, Mr. Zardari said. The PMLN said in a statement that both parties had agreed to cooperate in the interests of political stability. The results, in which independents backed by the PTI took 93 out of 266 directly elected seats, had left voters uncertain about which parties would form the next government. The PMLN won 75 seats while the PPP came third with 54 seats. In addition, parties will be allocated more seats from the 70 reserved for women and non-Muslims. These additional seats are not available to independent candidates. According to PML and official Maryam Aurangzeb, party leader Mr. Sharif plans to nominate his brother Shubhas to be prime minister. Both men have previously served as prime minister. While Mr. Bhutto says his party will help elect a PML and prime minister, he earlier said it would not take any cabinet positions. Imran Khan and his party have continued to emphasize that they believe the elections were rigged against them and plan to challenge the results. Speaking to reporters in court for the first time since the vote, Khan said, I warn against the misadventure of forming a government with stolen votes. Such daylight robbery will not only be a disrespect to the citizens but will also push the country's economy further into a downward spiral. The authorities deny accusations of vote tampering.